The VOA's White House Bureau Chief, Patsy Widakuswara, is in Rome. She joins us now for more. Patsy, you know, that meeting with the Pope seemed very warm. They're, they're reported to have spoken for about 90 minutes, a, a very long time compared to former U.S. presidents. Do we know what they spoke about during that time? Well, President Joe Biden did answer some of our questions after he came out of that meeting. One of the issues that was also outlined by various White House officials prior to the meeting is that the two leaders will discuss issues like climate change and global inequality post-pandemic recovery. These are two issues that will also be discussed at the G20 summit uh, by world leaders. And one thing that was not discussed was the issue of Biden's support for abortion. You may know that some of the U.S. bishops have said that Joe Biden, as well as other politicians who support abortion, does not have the right or should not have the right to receive Holy Communion. President Joe Biden was asked about this issue, whether the issue of abortion came up. He said, no, they did not discuss abortion. And he said that the Pope continues to support his right to continue receiving communion. So those were some of the issues that were discussed. And as you said, it was a quite a long meeting. It was a long private audience, almost 90 minutes before uh, the two leaders, uh, sorry, President Joe Biden participated in an expanded delegates meeting with other Vatican officials. So um, certainly something something uh, that the president seems to be happy about. He joked that the, uh, that the Pope was just happy that he was a good Catholic. As you know, President Joe Biden is only the second American president who is a Catholic who has met the Pope. The last one was John F. Kennedy in the 1960s. Daniela. Well, you know, it's a busy weekend for world leaders. We have the G20 summit and then preparations for the COP26 summit. We know that President Biden has also met with the Italian prime minister. What was that like and what was on the agenda for them? Yeah, certainly this is one of the first bilateral meetings. The president uh, had a meeting with the host, obviously, Italy, to talk about a number of issues, kind of like a convergence of uh, minds ahead of the G20, some of the things that they will outline in the summit. Uh, obviously, the U.S. is also interested in having uh, Italy in terms of transatlantic relationship, particularly after Angela Merkel of Germany will be leaving the world stage soon. So this is uh, something that the two leaders uh, really focus about, the issue of climate change that will be heavily discussed, as well as other issues of concern. Uh, and prior, uh, and rather after the meeting with President uh, of Italy, as well as the Prime Minister of Italy, President Joe Biden is also meeting with another ally that is French President Emmanuel Macron. Yeah, and speaking of that meeting with Emmanuel Macron, I believe all eyes are on this meeting uh, because of the AUKUS pact dispute. So I'm guessing that this will be the focus of their talks. Yeah, I mean, they have finished meeting. Just a few minutes ago, President Joe Biden came out and spoke to reporters, and he seemed very contrite, and he said that the AUKUS deal where the U.S. and the U.K. Uh, provided nuclear-powered submarines to Australia, at the same time scuttling a previous deal already agreed between Canberra and Paris, uh, and also on the supply of submarines, even though they're not nuclear-powered. And President Joe Biden basically just admitted that the AUKUS announcement was clumsy. That's uh, Those were his words. He said it was not done with a lot of grace. And he said that uh, he was under the impression that French had already known about the AUKUS deal. So obviously that was an issue that the two leaders tried to overcome. You know, this was definitely a big diplomatic spat a, uh, a month ago. It caused a lot of ruffles. French, uh, France uh, recalled their ambassador to the U.S. Uh, temporarily. And the U.S. sent in Anthony Blinken and Jake Sullivan, national advisor, uh, as well as Secretary of State Anklin, Anthony Blinken, to Paris to smooth feathers over this issue, as well as other issues that rankled uh, uh, allies in Europe, including the messy withdrawal from Afghanistan. So it was a bit of a heavy lift from President Joe Biden in meeting with uh, both France as well as Italian leaders today in terms of strengthening U.S.-Europe relationship ahead of the two summits this week. Yeah, yeah. So speak to us about what else uh, is planned for the president as he prepares for the G20 summit and, of course, the COP26 summit in Glasgow. 
So while we were aboard Air Force One on the way from Washington, D.C. to Rome, National Advisor, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan briefed us on what to expect in the next couple of days. Number one, there's certainly the issue of not only pandemic recovery, but also pandemic preparedness. There's an expectation that leaders may uh, want to signal some sort of intent to work together on a financing framework, coordination framework to prevent future pandemics. This is something that has already been uh, suggested or proposed by um, Secretary Janet Yellen, U.S. Uh, Treasury uh, Janet Yellen, and as well as issues like climate financing. This is a very big issue for developing countries, including Indonesia, who will be next year's uh, G20 president, who is saying that developed countries who promise, who pledge to help developing countries with $100 billion per year minimum to help mitigate the impact of climate change, to help developing countries transition from fossil fuel to renewables. Where is that money? Because there have been pledges and pledges and pledges, and it's still uh, the money has not materialized. So this is something that is key for developing countries. It will be discussed at the G20 on top of other issues, including how to solve the global supply chain crisis, as well as debt restructuring. These are very important issues for developing countries and will be presented and will be addressed by all the leaders of the G20 in the coming two days. Hey, Pat, see a very busy weekend ahead. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. My pleasure.